and welcome to Quick Survival Tips and today it's all about your meat. I'm wearing my hunter's orange today because it's that time of the year when guys are out in the bush and you have to be careful because they don't know the difference between a human being and a deer. If you're lucky enough to get an animal, a deer, an elk, a moose, your neighbor's cow, you have to let that age. There's some guys they shoot an animal and then the next day they cut it up those are the same guys that make sausage and jerky out of the whole animal because it tastes like poop. So the tip that I'm going to give is in one of those situations where like this year is really warm in November and it's not good to just hang your meat in a shack. Hardly anybody has a walk-in cooler except a grocery guy so you have to improvise. Number one, get some coolers. This isn't one of those $800 Sasquatch coolers. Those guys who buy those $800 coolers, those are the same guys that show up to camp with a pair of underwear for each night they're gonna be there. They probably have a belly button ring. Those guys, if you pull their socks off, they probably paint their toes. Those guys are the same guys that walk into a bar expecting to pick up chicks saying, hey, I got an $800 cooler. These coolers here are what you need. You can find them in a lot of places, like in the ditch. You'll find them because when it blows out of somebody's truck, they don't stop because they're like, meh, I don't need it anyway. In the springtime, you watch the river, you'll see these floating down the river a lot. So these are good coolers. And then, second tip, make sure when you cut the meat off of the deer or animal, that you leave it on the bone. The bone helps stretch out the meat when it's aging and throw it in the cooler. So I've got some hind, hind end in here. I've got steaks. Third tip, put a layer of ice on the bottom and then a layer of ice on the top and then shut it up. And then the next tip, you open up that drain plug or else you're gonna have blood soup. Instead that water slowly washes the meat, takes the blood out of the meat now one last thing, you see these guys, they're on top of one another. It's the same thing when you're cuddling with someone to stay warm. These guys are cuddling to stay cold. The very last tip, you put it on the north side of your house. If you don't know what the north side of your house is, it's time for you to go paint your nails. And that's pretty much it. You wait 10, 12, you're really risky 14 days and then the meat just falls off the bony M. That's living the life at the dead end.